we believe very strongly, to be blunt, that God raised up Donald Trump to give America a divine reprieve, not because America diverse, uh, deserves it. It's an act of grace. God raised up Trump as an admittedly imperfect man, and we go through the, the biblical justification for that. Trump is an imperfect man, uh, imperfect man, but so was the king of Babylon mm. that God used to rescue his people. So was Pharaoh an imperfect man that God used to deliver his people. If God can't find one of his own men, uh, you know, a Christian mm -hmm. or somebody to, to do the job, he's mm -hmm. going to find an imperfect man to do the job. Yeah, certainly uh, every president that, that we're familiar with going back throughout the 20th century was highly imperfect. Right, and, <laughs> and, and the, the irony is when Trump uh, emerged on the scene, he exposed the fraudulent nature of our entire political economic system. Mm. So Trump is hated because, as you know, Trump is, all the globalist elite consider, these are their words, mm -hmm. they consider Donald Trump the single greatest threat to their globalist agenda. They want a godless one world order. Now, here's the thing. God, God, you know, I don't know how, I get, I get emotional when I, when, I, when I talk about this. Okay. God has a plan for America. Mm -hmm. The pilgrims and Puritans escaped persecution in the 1600s. They were fervent, Bible-believing, born-again Christians on fire for God. Mm -hmm. They had a first great awakening. Charles Finney in the first great awakening. The fire of God, the revival of God, the great awakening of God, that, that spiritual power embedded its way into our Constitution, Bill of Rights, our whole legal structure, our whole nation. It was that formula, if you will, the Bible integrated with our society and politics that birthed the most powerful nation in the history of civilization because it was on a foundation of Christianity, not secular humanism or, or progressivism or Marxism. Mm. Now, we've lost that. Mm. We've got, God has given us a man who just happens to believe in America, capitalism, free enterprise. He happens to believe in God. He has decency and character. But because of that, you have people. God, God help us. I don't know if it's true or not. Because I'm not on the inside. I hope mm -hmm. it's not true. I hope it's not true what I keep seeing in the media, that high-level directors of the FBI and the CIA are conspiring. In our book, I uh, had an opportunity to talk to a guy who just came from a meeting in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. He just uh, came from a meeting with Trump. But before that, he was pulled aside. We described the account in Trumpocalypse. And one of the highest level Republican leaders told him the deep state is trying to assassinate Donald Trump. Right. That's bone chilling. Yes. If we don't stand up for righteousness and pray for this man, why would anybody hate light so much? Why would they want to assassinate a good man? Well, I, and that, of course, opens up lots of areas we could go. We only have a couple of minutes, though. Okay. Um, but to really continue to reinforce what you just indicated, I'll read one more short quote here. Uh, you indicated, um, again, we're, this is, uh, we've been talking about the first 20 pages of your book, basically, so it's, it's very rich. Uh, dozens of faith leaders and prophecy experts interviewed for Trumpocalypse agree that we're in the season preceding events during the end of days. This is even more reason to get out of our comfort zones, to stand up to the new world order, and to do our part in the end time harvest many believe will usher in one billion souls into God's kingdom. You have about a minute. You might comment a little bit more on that because I know this is, such a, this is such a passion of yours. Right. America, among other things, God wants America prosperous and free right now because God wants to bring about a last day's soul harvest. God is love. He wants to win as many people to Jesus Christ and bring them into heaven as possible. He needs America, because we're the only country that can do it, to be the launching pad for this last day's soul harvest. If that isn't a good enough reason to get behind a president that is behind that kind of mission, I don't know what is. Mm -hmm.